Hi, Glenn van der Burg with Never Enough Strats with some stories about the anniversary strats of the Fender Stratocaster. And I am limiting myself to all the strats that were made because of the birthday of the Stratocaster itself. So born in 1954. So everything from there and forward uh, until now um, with some of them in my possession to show you because that was the reason that I thought, well, let's do an anniversary video for uh, the Fender Stratocaster. So the first one was in 1979, uh, Fender Stratocaster anniversary, 25th anniversary. Um, probably most of you know this one. Uh, loved but also hated. Uh, very expensive in those days. The first special model that they made. Um, and of course, it is. Uh, there is the story about the paint of this '79 Fender Stratocaster, uh, which was a, like kind of a pearly white, um, water-based finish, which um, was terrible to say the least. The paint came off. Uh, they were sent back, and they refinished them and finished the new batches with a um, Porsche silver finish. So there was less white in the finish and more silver in it. And over time it grew into this kind of metallic greenish color, which is kind of pretty. Um, I had one of them, it was really heavy, like f between four and a four and a half kilos of guitar. Um, and it was the first guitar the first Strat in the 70s that uh, went back a little bit to the old pre-CBS era with the small headstock. Uh, no, it has the big big, big headstock, but it had the um, a four bolt uh, plate at the back. So not anymore. The three bolt plate was the first guitar that went back to the four bolt plate. And um, well, a nice guitar. There are 10,000 made, I think, which is quite a lot. Um, well, and it's, well, if you had one, you either love it or you hate it. Uh, but it started a whole revolution of making special guitars by Fender. So moving up, we go to the 35th anniversary of the Fender Stratocaster with the 1989 uh, anniversary Strat made by the custom shop. So only by the custom shop. Uh, which just started two years before that. So it was one of their first big projects uh, that they've done. Beautiful guitar, but all new specs. So uh, ch uh, locking tuners, uh, it had the boost in it, if I remember correctly, because I had one. Um, I'll show you it next to me. And um, uh, made by the custom shop only. So then moving up to 1994, when it was the 14th, 40th anniversary of the Fender Stratocaster, um, they made, uh, for the first time, made a reissue of the 54 Stratocaster, and I have it right here. Um, it is not an actual replica of the 54, but it resembles it quite uh, good. So they used all the old hardware uh, still the standard old hardware that they had, so it's not really time cor uh, period correct, but it's it's getting there. It has the round uh, string uh, thingy here that holds the string down to make sure that they don't uh, get out of tune. Um, it has a three-way switch in it, um, 54 Strat pickups that they made, and what's very a special detail is that there is a... Um, a uh, backplate cover for the trim hole cavity that has the round holes in them. And you know, if you've ever used these round holes, it's terrible to get your strings out again. You can get them in, that's no problem, but if you have to get them out, it's really a fuss. So later they made these more oval, a bit longer holes in it, and they even just took out the whole uh, part here to make it easier to remove your strings. 1954, so 1954, were made of these um, uh, guitars with the ash body with a one piece maple neck, 
uh, with the skunk stripe and a nine and a half inch rad fretboard radius, uh, I think, I'm not even sure. And um, what they did and all the models that I have is that they rounded, they rolled the edges of the neck and it's so comfortable playing it. Um, I'll give you some brief tunes uh, via my new amp. I used to play on a um, Blackstar amp, but now I have a Fender Champ from 1973. So small little amp, but a real Fender amp with tubes in it, old tubes. Um, I have to get a pick. All right, uh, here we go. Um, I only will only do the first, so the neck pickup. Uh, for some tunes. Fender Champ amp there is no gain channel so I'm using a tube screamer um, from Ibanez of course to get a bit more gain sounds so let's see what that sounds like <laughs> So that's it for the 1994 uh, Strat uh, special about this guitar and maybe you've noticed the little uh, sticker on the tram hole is that it is a new guitar. I've played it, did I make a video already of it? No I didn't. So I've played it now for five, five minutes maybe in total and that's the longest that it has been played on because it is new. It was bought in 1994, put back in its case and has been for 30 years um, if you're lucky it's still available on my website for you to purchase moving up to 2004 it was the 50th anniversary which of course is a very special birthday if you go to be 50 um, they made one, two, three, three different, um, three different models. Master built replica of the 54. I had one, sold it. Put a picture up next to me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guitar. Everything was made like it was made in 54. So they really, the master builders did really a study about how everything was made, what kind of materials were there. Uh, the pickup covers uh, and all the other plastic were made especially for these master build models in a small little factory that still made the kind of plastic, which probably was Bakelite, I think is it, it's called. Um, it has the pickup covers with the rounded edges. Uh, the the volume knobs at the uh, the high like head like uh, versions on it so everything 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 was up to spec it had a really really big U neck like a, a U shaped fat neck on it so um, really beautiful guitar you can still find some of them there are most of the time some of them for sale one or two on reverb so that was one of the guitars made. One of the special things also was that Abigail Ibarra designed 
the 54 pickup for that master build guitar and they're also in this one which is the american series they call it um it's kind of an american standard with some extras on it like the Abigail Ibarra 54 pickups uh, this one costs $1,500 in those days. Um, uh, it has a beautiful ash body with uh, great, uh, great uh, markings on it. And, um, well, American standard, but with an extra. What does it sound like? with the uh, tube screamer on So that's the first of the 2004 version. So uh, remember, this is the American series. So like the American standard, but with some extras, but they also made the American deluxe. And I'm going to grab it for you. So this is the Deluxe, American Deluxe version of the uh, anniversary strat from 2004. Why is it deluxe? the deluxe version? Because it has um, locking tuners. It has a Teflon um, nut. Um, it has noiseless samarium cobalt pickups. Um, and it has a contoured heel for extra playing pleasure uh, room for your big hands. Um, and I think that's it. Well, I had to dis do this part again because I forgot to tell you something about the... Oh, this is the one. 2004 Deluxe. American Deluxe. Because it has a... You might say an Easter egg or a hidden feature, and it's really small, but it's really powerful because it's this S1 button. It is a little button inside the volume knob, and if you press it, then there is a whole five-way uh, switch, new five-way switch with five different switching opportunities for you. Um, as you can see right here beside me, that's what happens you when you click this you really get into another part of the five-way switch that has five new switching options with uh, humbucking with the uh, neck middle position and the bridge and the middle position with a option for the neck and the bridge together so five different positions so ten in total uh, if you have this guitar you never need another an anything else well in fact, you do. Okay, back to the video that I made before I thought I forgot to mention this to you. Let's go back. That's it. All the special things. It had, it set you back $1,700, $1,700 in those days. Uh, so uh, 2004, 
well, nowadays, would be a quite an expensive guitar. Um, want to hear what it sounds like? Of course you do. There we go. That was the word that I was looking for. I like the sound of this one. Really nice. Uh, oh, with the tube screener, screamer, tube screamer on. That's it, 2004, moving up 10 years to 2014. It is already the 60th anniversary of the Strat. Um, they made, uh, 60th anniversary, they made two different anniversary Strats. So there was the Custom Shop 54, which was kind of a reissue, but not like they did with the master build ones. Uh, an NOS, so a new old stock version, and the Heavy Relic version. And they made this 2014 60th commemorative American Standard version, 1954 pickups in them. Um, first on a anniversary strat a compound radius neck from nine and a half inch to 14 inch so for extra bending and playing options um, 43 millimeter nut so a bit wider it has the perloid buttons on the tuners uh, contoured heel for extra playing joy and um, what else what else it else it has uh, oh it has which is weird for a 54 like it has the two tone sunburns but it does have a three ply pick guard all right well choices choices um, that's it time to hear what it sounds like <laughs> Tube Screamer on.
Okie dokie then. So these were four guitars. Um, it's also where our journey stops, kind of stops, because it's also where this fantastic book stops. The Anniversary Strat, written by Gary Davis. Uh, very thick, nice book with a lot of information, but also a lot of pictures in it. Uh, Gary published it himself, so if you want to buy it, uh, check out the link in our description. Um, and you can buy it straight away from him, so you're supporting him in his effort of making these great kinds of books. Um, what's more there to tell that all these guitars when I'm making this video are still for sale on our website neveringoughstrats.com and of course a lot of other Fender Stratocasters great exclusive or custom shop Fender Stratocasters you can find there check it out if you like this video like and subscribe hit the bell do all the things that you have to do to keep uh, stay posted about my videos and if you have any comments what I should or shouldn't do, please let me know because I'm learning all the time, you know. Um, that's it for now. Bye-bye.